Hi guys, it's username K and welcome back to my channel. So, I have decided to embark on a 10 hour round trip to Scotland for a session of solo wild camping and I'm gonna do it on the Sinis Akuma 125 because why not? Not everybody has you know, big bikes, adventure bikes, touring bikes. So I'm just trying to prove that you can have so much fun on a 125. You don't have to have a full license. You don't have to have all the latest spandangly touring kit. So if you're interested on how I'm gonna prepare for this trip, what exactly I'm gonna pack for a night wild camping in Scotland, stick around and stay tuned. So to start off, I bought some universal eBay special panniers that literally cost me £26.99. Apparently they go on any bike and I've just fitted it to the Sinisakoon. Well, I say just, I fitted it last night. Now, I didn't record it last night and let me tell you, there's a lot of buckles and a lot of straps to get under this seat. So I managed it, but I almost daren't take it off <laughs> because I don't think I'll be able to get it on half as well as I have done with this. So yeah, they're just eBay specials, probably come from somewhere in China that I can't pronounce. They look a bit wonky donkey, but as long as they do the job and they don't hit the exhaust, then I'm happy. So come inside with me, we'll get a brew and just talk through what I'm going to pack for this one night in Scotland. So one of the first things that I do to try and get my life in some kind of order is a checklist. So tent first and foremost of course. Went round to username dad and raided his garage for a lot of this equipment. So we've got a tent, we've got a sleeping bag, a roll mat, a sleeping bag fleece liner, a chair, a head torch, a general torch, Socks and underwear, trainers, because I don't want to be clomping around in my bike boots all the time. Pans and cooking stuff, food. Oh, I've spilt brew on my checklist, that's not good. Food, toilet paper, toiletries, book, eyes, contact lenses. Camera equipment, power banks, cardo, gerbin heat jacket, gloves and battery. So, it's definitely a place to start, so let's start ticking them off. Guys, actually, before I delve into my checklist, how... Are we transporting this stuff? So as well as the eBay special panniers, I'm going to be utilising the Lone Rider Overlander bag. Now with this bag, you get this bag inside of it for like extra layering and to make it super, super waterproof. But I think that on the back of the Sinis is a little bit industrious and a bit overkill to be quite honest. I think I will just use the inner bag because it's a roll bag so you can make a real tight seal. It's nice and bright which is brilliant for visibility and it's got plenty of space in there so yeah we're going to use the moto bag, the inner bag, 38 litres which like I say usually goes inside of the overlander bag. So we'll bob that there. And then of course I'm going to use my trusty Triumph backpack. I've just taped over the logo because then it's other manufacturer launch friendly. So that, that and the bags outside are going to be how I'm going to transport everything. First things first on the list we have tent. Now I raided username dad's garage and he advised that the nature hike Monga 2 tent, it's a two man tent, would be ideal for this trip. One piece of advice I would give you if you're not particularly au fait with tents and you don't often have to put them up or you don't often go wild camping or it's a brand new tent, I would advise 
just setting it up at home, just trialing it, make sure you know what you're doing, just purely because I can imagine there's nothing worse than arriving at your location, it's Scotland, it's probably going to be chucking it down, and then opening a tent and realising that, you know, it's not as straightforward as you thought, or you've borrowed it from somebody and you discover there's missing bits that are very crucial, so yeah, a check before you go is usually quite a good idea. This tent weighs 1.97 kilograms, so it's pretty light. It's going to be light enough to transport, and I think I'm going to put this in the Lone Rider bag. Sleeping bag. We've got the Snug Pack. It is the Tactical 2 with Softy Premier Filling and Reflector Therm. So yeah, this is another one of Username Dad's sleeping bags, but it folds up quite small. I believe it's a three season sleeping bag, so really not kind of designed for winter. But if I was going to borrow one of my dad's winter sleeping bags, they are made with down. So duck feather, super light, super warm, but they usually are a bit bulkier and take up a lot more space. So we're going to use this and we're also going to team it with a snug pack fleece liner, sleeping bag liner, adds comfort and performance to any bag, maximum warmth, lush polyester, machine washable, easy to remove, wash and care for. So we're going to combine these two bad boys together and hopefully we'll get a nice cosy night's sleep in the Mongar too. Next we've got a roll mat, it is an X-Bed Sinmat All 7M, they're the measurements and stuff like that. So this is literally an inflatable roll mat, you just breathe into it and it basically inflates. So that is the bulk of the sleeping arrangements thus far. Another item that I stole from Username Dad, or should I say borrowed, is a camping chair, mainly because I figured I want to camp near a lake somewhere, I want to sit down on a chair and not the floor and just read a nice book or something like that. So yes, the chair, although it takes up a fair bit of room, if you see compared to everything else, I think it's worth it. So even though we've got a snug pack fleece liner, Dad did give me the option of a silk liner, a Euro hike one. Now, given the fact that I think it's going to be quite cold because we are in January, it will probably be February by the time I do the camp, probably going to angle more towards the fleece liner, but it's pretty small, so I'll take it just as another option. Next up, we have just a little torch for inside the tent. It's got this and I know the tent has a hook inside. So it's basically the equivalent of a big light. And then when it gets dark, I also have a head torch. Now I'm not much of a pink girl, but beggars can't be choosers and I've borrowed this from my mum. Nice and bright, should do the trick. Next on the list, we have underwear and socks. So I've put them in a little bag. Obviously, I'm not going to air my laundry quite literally out on YouTube. But in there, we've got socks, we've got keks, and we've got a nice little cashmere bobat. So we're getting quite a sizable collection at the moment. And it's all got to fit on the mighty sinus, but I'm sure we'll make it work. So trainers, I've gone for the lightest, thinnest ones I own so that they can squish down quite well. I've also got a little bag, same as what I've put the underwear, socks, etc. in, just so that when I'm finished using my trainers and they're a bit mucky, I can put them in here and keep the muck off everything else. Okay, moving swiftly on to cooking stuff raided username dad's garage and he has kindly lent me his jet boil if we take a look at this the lid also doubles up as a frying pan i have an empty ziploc bag but there's a reason for this in a moment 
Here we have the Covia Spider. Inside here we've got a few loose tea bags which I could really put in that bag. We have this which just provides a stable, it's hard with one hand, which just provides a stable surface for the jet boil if necessary. Here we have a little fire starter but we also have some pretty nice matches just in case it fails. In here I have not whiskey <laughs> but olive oil which I'm going to use in this pan and then we have a pan handle. So the plan is to get some meat, maybe some um, pork chops and use the olive oil to sizzle them. In this bag, I'll probably get another one for the tea bags, I'm going to put a load of seasoning in here, uh, maybe some like Cajun or peri peri or salt and pepper, stuff like that. And I'm going to marinate the lamb or pork chops before I go. I'm just going to put it, put them all in the bag with the spices, shake it up and then when I get there I can just them. So we have this for the food and then I'm going to use the jet boil even though it's clean it doesn't really look it but it is. It's just had years of abuse for boiling the water for my tea which I'll drink in this cup. I'm going to bring four bottles of water for general brews, drinking, uh, brushing my teeth, stuff like that. And then of course we have got the butane propane gas mix. Still some in, so that's good. And how are we going to cook it all? We're going to use the spider. and cooking stuff. Oh, and food, which we haven't got yet. But we will get it closer to the time. Right, so when it comes to toiletries, you've got toothbrush, you've got toothpaste, we've got a bit of deodorant, toilet roll, and then typical girl style, just some skincare, some nice lip oil, some Again, skincare and a bit of foundation because I like a little bit, even though I'm wild camping, sometimes it's nice to feel nice. So, for space saving, I'll just pop these in here, just like that. One thing I can't forget is my eyes, I'd be absolutely screwed without them, so I'll pack a couple of those and probably some spares for just in case purposes. Books, entertainment, I need something to read else I'm probably going to be bored out of my skull, especially if signal and service isn't very good for the mobile. So I'm in the process of reading Rich Dad Poor Dad, so I'll probably finish that whilst I'm there. And then just a few other books to choose from. I'm not sure yet. I'll decide a bit later on. Since it is winter time, it's gonna be probably pretty cold. So I plan on bringing my heated gear. Now I use Gerbin. I have the jacket, I have the gloves, and I also have two ways of actually making them work. 
So I have a lead that connects from the Sinus battery and hangs out so that I can plug myself in and ride with basically unlimited heat. And I also have an external battery pack which I can use if it's a little bit chilly at night and I just want to take the edge off. I can plug in the external power pack if you will and then I can keep some heat in my body which is really good. Some other little things that I've added, hand sanitizer gel, I'm not a fan of this stuff, it dries my skin out but needs must. And this little puck, just in case it's particularly sloppy, I don't want the bike to sink. And then we'll get back to the actual list, so I'd be taking two power banks, my Insta360, the clamp that accommodates that, the pole that accommodates it, also a bit of a nice kosh if you need it to be, jokes I never said that. And then we've got GoPro batteries, we have oh, a tripod, very important. And then if we have a look in here, oh, grab it all. There's just loads of stuff in here, so we've got road mics, we've got media mods, we've got these full of batteries, we have spare mics, spare stands, I've got my custom fit guards. Uh, earplug case in there which isn't full of earplugs because I'll be wearing them. Instead we've got some SD cards chilling in there just in case we run out of space. So yeah, two power banks, tripod, Insta360 setup. I will have a camera on my chin and I'll have a camera on the bike facing me as well. So that is the setup. I've charged everything in here, I'm prepared and the only thing I need to do now is plug in my Cardo Freecom 4 for charging. Okay, so we're going to pack the first pannier. And in here we're going to put the snug pack. Of course, that fell on the floor. Hello darkness, my old friend. Don't mind the slippers. So we'll pack that in here along with that. We'll pack the little cheeky silk liner as well. And then we can't forget the torches. So they can go snug in there. Need two hands for this guys, bear with me. Oh. Now let's work on the next one. Okie dokie. And then in this one, I think we may well put the fleece liner, the chair, and also these, which I didn't mention, which are waterproof bags or covers for these. So we'll just shove these bad boys in. There we go. And now we've just got to fill the red bag and the rucksack get them strapped using these bungee cords that's why they're there and then she'll be ready for a Scottish adventure okay so it's time to pack everything that's left in the rucksacks so I'm gonna put this in first because it has quite a sharp bottom and I don't want it to snag the tent case so First. Now I want to put the tent on top so that when I arrive at the location I can just grab it straight away and work on this first. So that is the logic there. And then for the rucksack In fact, I'll even put the tripod in here. What I'll also do is keep some charged up batteries in my Oxford Mondial jacket pocket so I've got quick access to those. And also, I'll pack this little screwdriver 
just so that when it comes to switching the batteries I can do it really quick so I'll have that at the front of the rucksack ready to go. Oh also my mother got me a mirror for Christmas. Contacts. Book, I think I'll take that. And that. Milk. And of course we need some charging leads for the power banks so we can actually charge the electrics when we're there. And I'll probably take these bags just for putting anything in that I want to dispose of in a bin when I get to a local bin. So there she is, the final finished product, the ultimate touring machine. So yeah, I just rearranged the bungees a little bit, made sure that it's not going anywhere that. So the only thing I haven't really packed at the moment is the lamb chops or the pork chops because I don't know when I'm going to venture to Scotland yet so I'm not going imminently but at least I'm ready. So guys I look forward to taking you along with me wild camping probably New Galloway Forest, Loch, sorry, Loch, I still can't say it, Loch Ken, still can't believe there's a loch called Ken but probably aiming to stay around there, maybe a bit further up, maybe a bit further down. I'm not really bothered, as long as I can get a nice place near the water, that'll be the ideal. So yeah guys, I can't wait for you to come along with me and experience it all. So yeah, until the next one, take care and ride safe. Bye!